Mm. What's your driver vetting process? It's a rough bunch of guys out there and it has to be a challenge. It's a great question, Kelly. And we get this a lot from, from customers. Uh, I've been in logistics and in this space, uh, managing, started off managing drivers for 20 years. And right, it runs the gamut from uh, independent and owner operators out there to large publicly traded carriers. Uh, what's important uh, when you're choosing a logistics partner is, is, is the risk associated with who you're using. So Assertus, we've had insurance every day. We've had authority every day for every single one of our 10,000 plus carriers. We take pictures, we understand equipment, where they want to run, we profile them. Think of it as a freshman JV varsity type profiling scheme uh, to go on with your, your, uh, your fight song earlier uh, <laughs> to understand how, you know, what's appropriate for the job to be done. And that's both equipment type and obviously, um, you know, what's needed from an SLA perspective. So throughout there, we're obviously managing uh, what I am, am very confident is the best in class uh, and largest fleet of carriers in the space uh, to provide a uh, service that's needed to our customers. You don't always need a 10 car. You don't always need a nine car. Sometimes you need a flatbed or uh, physically driven cars, which we employ W2 drivers and we use a, a gig economy of drivers to actually do deliveries at times or pickups. Yeah, that's what I wanted to ask. It's, it's they're gig workers. Do some of your drivers, I would assume that probably a lot of them do work for competitors as well. And then I'm not sure that you answered the question about vetting them. Uh, there's extensive background checks, I would assume, and you've worked with them for okay. a long time. You know the process. And then I have another driver oriented question after the, the answer as far as the uh, competitive aspect of uh, drivers driving for the competition is concerned. Yeah, a couple of different questions in there. Obviously, we're using uh, uh, not just drivers, but also uh, carriers out there in the space. And, and those are whether they spot market or contract, they're hauling for our competitors, they're hauling for our customers, uh, and vice versa. Obviously, we try to provide a platform that's very sticky, and they come back to us because we can provide them with uh, more reasonable uh, situations, whether that be they want to be home every night, whether it's a pay situation. There's a lot of different variables that are associated there. When you look at the vetting process, absolutely. I mean, if it's a driver, we're doing full background checks. We're understanding um, what the requirements are for the customer, and then obviously what the regulatory practices are, and then obviously our insurance. We're making sure that our goal is to mitigate the risk to our customers. There's a lot of risk associated to this across the board, right? If, if, if there's ever a litigation, I know in the freight world, there's a lot of challenges and everybody kind of points back to the Tracy Morgan accident with uh, with Walmart and kind of that forward brought in a new risk tolerance level to logistics. So we're obviously a very, very keen on that. We're mitigating the risk to our customers, right? We are, we are providing uh, a service that's not just a price and not just logistics, but it's a risk mitigation strategy for, for every CFO out there listening, for sure. Yeah. I get that. Is it super competitive to find those kinds of folks? I know it's tough as hell for dealers to get techs. I could only imagine how difficult it is to get drivers because I hear ads for drivers all the time. Yeah, absolutely. And it, and it runs the gamut. I mean, uh, you know, I think the demographic is a unique demographic out there to find a driver, uh, whether it's over the road um, or intercity. Uh, so it's, it's a challenge out there. You've got to provide, it's not just about pay. It's about culture. It's about being home. It's about uh, scheduled uh on times, right? Get the wheels turning and earn and then get them home, right? That's, that's a philosophy here and a philosophy I've, I've always had, even when I manage drivers, because just like uh, Kelly and Chess and you and I and, and everybody else listening out here, uh, we all have events. We have scheduled soccer games for kids and things like that, that we've got to get home. And being able to schedule those things out is really important for drivers uh, as you think about that work-life balance. 